Hello, my loves. Oh, that was too jolly, wasn't it? That was too jolly. Hello, my loves. Mm, was that too chilled out? Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to give you a clue as to what today's video is going to be. I mean, I know that you already know because of the title, but... I went to Primark, I bought some makeup. I bought a lot of makeup actually. You know when you go shopping and you're picking stuff up without thinking about it properly? Then you get to the till and she's putting everything through and you're like, holy crap, I don't actually know if I need all this stuff. That kind of happened. And I've got like a full, a full bag of makeup and um, I spent some dollar in Primark. Today's video is basically just gonna be me testing it out. I love watching these videos, so I thought I'd do them myself. I feel like you guys appreciate them because then you can see whether you guys want to buy it. Which, let's be fair, if I'm going to help you out in any way, I may as well save you guys some money. So I bought this little mirror to do my makeup in for videos because I thought it'd be so cool. It's got a, like a magnified side, magnified side? On that side and then a normal side on this one. So for today's video, I'm going to be using this and that was £3.50 by the way. I thought that was so handy for travelling. I'm going to get straight into it. I cannot even remember what about. I bought so many brushes. Look at all these. I bought the cool little like mermaid kind of ones. It's so cool. I know that Primark has done makeup for a while and I've tested out their contour kit in a video. I don't know what else I've tested out, but oh my God, another brush. I bought as much as I could um, to do a full face of makeup and I've done pretty well. Like I've brought, brought, bought <laughs> a hell of a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of empty it out and, oh. Is that it? That's it. Bought a lot of stuff. Bought a lot more than what I thought. If this is the first time that you've ever seen my face, please go down below, hit the subscribe button, you can join our little family. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. In fact, hang on, I've, I'm saying let's get straight into the video, but I do want to show you my t-shirt before we start. So it's from Zara and it says, hun. What does it say? Oh, there we go. I know what it says now. Hun, don't stress it. I love this t-shirt. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that is so me. But I'm going to show you right up close now. Look how it's like furry there. All the text is furry. Oh, cool. Anyway, let's actually get into the video because you've come to see the video. I normally start testing makeup videos with my face with makeup on. So you're probably like, huh. But I thought I'd switch it up today and do it the other way around. So I haven't got any makeup on, but we'll have makeup on soon. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's zoom you in. Let's do the usual little routine. Ooh. I know that Primark have done makeup for ages, but I figured I would test out the new kind of range. They've got a lot of new bits of makeup. So I've got like the new eyelashes, um, highlighters, they've got palettes you can make up yourself, new brushes. So I know this video has probably been circulating YouTube for ages, like testing out Primark makeup, but this video is all the new stuff, which I thought would be quite exciting. So I'm just hopefully just, just gonna use Primark makeup, what I've bought, um, but they didn't have a primer and I do like to prime my face. So I'm just gonna use a Smashbox water so that it's, oh no, I didn't spray it on my face. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you spray something and then it doesn't go where you thought it was gonna go. There we go. It's a lot better. <laughs> Foundation that I got was this. Now this is called My Perfect Colour and it's a matte foundation and it was £3. I got it in nude. The foundations were quite sort of like mixed up. I went to the one in Leeds Trinity and there was a lot of foundations. Like there were so many to choose from. It was quite overwhelming. So I just picked up this one and kind of hoped for the best. I just looked at the packaging like on the outside and hoped it was the best colour. So let's try it. And I think I got a foundation brush as well. Oh no, I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. I got this foundation brush. It says on it, no filter foundation brush. Foundation brush. Seamless selfie finish, which we all want, don't we? Oh my God, I'm going to struggle to get in all these packaging. Oh, there we go. This brush was five pounds. I am super excited to try out these brushes. Like, look how pretty they look. They look so nice. Um, it's kind of like a weird shape. It's like higher at that end and then it goes shorter at that end. So I'm gonna be interested to see how this kind of performs. It's kind of weird because I'm using a new foundation and a new brush, which is a bit exciting. Just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Hate that when you've got to squeeze it a couple times before it comes out first. Oh my God, it's legit not coming out. What is going on? Oh my gosh. I feel like I should maybe put it on the back of my hand. Is that not working? That is so poo. This is not a good start to the video, is it? Right, I'm just gonna go like this because I'm impatient and just put some on my hand this way. That is so poo. I hope it's the right shade after this. <laughs> so let's dab, dab, dab. Feels really weird putting my foundation on with this brush. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I'm just gonna put another bit on. Um, so I put like, well, I can't really tell you how many pumps it was because I'm not using the pumpy thing, but oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh my god, it's so runny. Look at that. I need like a piece of kitchen roll or something. Anyway, that should actually be enough. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. I was actually on the hunt for um, a cheaper foundation that's like as good or near like the same, it feels the same as the NARS Shea Glow foundation because I got that and I literally loved it and I've used it all up so instead of spending like another £40 on another bottle of that I wanted to find one that's kind of similar. Um, I mean I know Primark's maybe a, bit of a, maybe a bit of a hard task to find one in Primark that's similar but kind of that's what I'm looking for so if any of you know any kind of like thin consistency foundations let me know in the comments because I don't like really cakey foundations but I like one that's got enough coverage so yeah the coverage is not the best so in terms of the foundation I'm really like upset about the pump and um, it'd be so much handier if the pump works so then I don't have to pour it all over my hand every time I've got like a massive spot here basically and it's not covered that up too well but it's cool because I got some concealer so we can try use that the concealer that I got was this one this was two pounds and it says it's just a medium coverage vitamin E and aloe vera concealer it's the liquid concealer and it's the PS range I'm hoping this is gonna be okay but I don't know if you can see inside the bottle there it's gone kind of blotchy I don't know if you can see. Um, oh my god, don't tell me I picked one up that was used. Oh well, let's just try it. Go for it. I'll just put a little bit under my eyes, a little bit on the spot. <laughs> the spot. <laughs> yeah, coverage wise, that foundation's not the best, but I mean, for three pounds, what? <laughs> I can't have a serious conversation with this uh, mess on my face. I think for this, I might use one of my own brushes. So I'll just go get one out in one second. Yeah, I'm just gonna use one of my own brushes because I don't think that would be any good for concealer at all. And I didn't buy a concealer brush, so this is what we're using. I'm hoping miracles are gonna happen, and it's gonna be the same as the Collection Last Imperfection concealer because that concealer was two pounds. So I'm kind of hoping we found like a cheaper version but I just don't know if it's gonna happen. Don't have too much faith at the moment guys. Okay so that's blended in quite nice and the coverage is medium I'd say. I wouldn't say like my face looks absolutely flawless but it looks okay. I mean it's not really worked the best on my spot which is like my major issue. That's why it's okay. That blended quite nice. It feels like you can tell it's not exactly a matte, it's not a matte concealer. I got this PS rice powder which I thought was super exciting. They had like rice powder, banana powder, other different kinds of powders but I thought I'd just try the rice one because I mean I like rice you know. I got a powder brush, I got this one which was £6 and it's one of like the mermaid unicorn kind of ones. I don't know how I'm going to get into this. Oh, that feels insanely beautiful. I feel like this might work well. So we're gonna, just going to use the rice powder. I don't know what rice powder is meant to be doing. It just says, press powder to set makeup and absorb oil for all skin types. So well, let's just try it. I'm just going to pop it like all over my face, I reckon. Mmm, this brush feels so soft. This is a really nice brush. Oh my god and no hairs are falling out of it which is a definite boner. I feel like that, that rice powder has made me look really pasty. Has it or is that just in my head? It has hasn't it? I look really pale. But I actually kind of like that rice powder. There isn't too much to say about it because I just set my powder but it's made my face feel quite soft. So I quite like that. I quite like that. That's my favourite thing so far. I'm not a massive fan of the foundation or the concealer but definitely impressed with the rice powder and this powder brush it's beautiful I didn't actually get a bronzer that is one of the things that I didn't get so I'm just gonna use my own I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of Hoola Benefit which I know is a bit high-end which is kind of cliche with the whole Primark cheapness thing but I got a lot of Primark stuff so just you wait just you wait I'll just pop this on and I'll be right back okay so I'm kind of bronzed my forehead looks a little bit weird but it's cool. I feel like it's my lips that look a bit weird because they've got foundation on. Um, but I did buy some Primark blush. Um, this was £1.50 and it's called Adored. It says on it high pigment blusher so I'm going to be careful not to put too much on. Um, I got this brush which is the Soft Focus Sculpting Brush. It's like double sided, the blended, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to get into this and use this for my blusher. Okay I'm going to use this side to put the blush on with i think am i gonna do that yeah i am okay i'm not gonna put too much on because it says high pigment and high pigment to me says i'm be high pigment if it's too high pigment and i put too much on, i'm gonna like a dollar <gasps> 
Oh my god. Can you see that? That is high pigment that's just gone on. Really, really high pigment. That's gonna need some blending, that is, lads. Oh my god. do not look as bad in, on camera, I don't think. Or maybe it does and it's just me. Definitely got to build this up, guys. It's a nice colour, though, for £1.50. That's actually really nice for £1.50. I really like that. I kind of like the fact that it's a bit darker, like, not super coral because a lot of my blushes are quite corally which is sometimes not really what you want especially in winter time oh and in terms of the brush it's all right actually blends blends quite well i'm gonna take some highlighter this is like the most exciting thing of the video uh-huh yeah yeah this was three pounds look how beautiful this highlight looks oh that looks beautiful i'm gonna take the other side of this brush which is bit more square i'm just gonna put like a little bit on i've got a feeling this is gonna be like such a nice highlighter i'm really excited okay are we ready pop it on the nose we always do the nose test first <gasps> yes. <gasps> sugar you know when you put too much on then you gotta blend it in like never before this is an amazing highlighter oh that's actually unreal are you ready for this? Highlighter? No highlighter. Are you ready? This is like the most satisfying moment of this video. Oh my god. Should you tell you what I sometimes find? That the cheaper highlighters are the most pigmented. Like, people ask you questions about them more. When I go downstairs, my mum is going to be like, what highlighter is that? That is unbelievably amazing. I literally love that highlighter. I quite like the brush as well. That's not too bad for a highlighter brush. Put it on quite well. <gasps> love it. I love that. I didn't buy from now on. I bought eyeshadows, lipstick, eyelashes, but I just didn't buy any mascara or brows. So I will just put my brows on. Then we'll do eyeshadow, then the rest of it. So what am I doing? I'm going to put my brows on. I'll be two seconds. In case you want to know what I'm using, I'm just using what I always use, which is the Benefit Precise Lip My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. Be two seconds. Just going to quickly do this. Okay, cool. Eyebrows are done. And then for eyeshadow, I actually bought one of the little Make It Yourself palettes. So this, it's like a, well, it says Build Your Own Palette Customised. It's like a four eyeshadow palette. Let me just get it out. I'll show you it. And then I bought four eyeshadows to go in it. So I got this one, which is, what is this called? Naked. The palette was £2 and all the little eyeshadows were 60p. So that is actually really good. I thought that the eyeshadows would be a little bit more than 60p, um, but they weren't, so that's fabulous. I'm just opening them. I'm gonna put them all in the packet. I feel like I wasn't speaking to you just then. I'm really sorry, I was, but I was just concentrating on opening the packets. Um, I'm just gonna pop them all into the palette and then I will be right back with you. Okay, so this is the little palette that I made up. I'll put on the screen now what all the colours are called. So then if you want to buy them, you can. So I'm going to take this. I bought two eyeshadow brushes. I got this one, which says Soft Focus Shadow Brush, which was £3. And this one, which is the Insta Define Eye Brush, um, which is two-sided and it was £3 as well. So I will just get into these. The opening of the packets is so difficult. So I'm going to take this one which is just the single sided one and I'm going to use this colour here which I think is called Bone. I'm just going to pop this all over my lid as a base. I thought it was going to unfocus on me there. I'm just going to pop this everywhere. Um, I normally use like quite a bigger brush than this but this should do the job. It should do the job. I can't really test how well the eyeshadow works with the lightest one. I always say this. So I'm going to use this colour here which is a little bit more orangey and I'm just going to pop this in my crease. I'm hoping it's going to be quite pigmented, but I just don't know. So, they're not the most pigmented eyeshadows ever, and I have to kind of go on, like, a couple of times on with my brush. Did that make any sense? Yeah, I have to, like, put the brush in the palette a couple of times. But once you get, like, packing on the colour, it does pay off. And they're quite easy to blend as well. This brush is quite nice to get in into the crease. I feel like if it was maybe a bit bigger, it'd be easier. But I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm just going to try use this darker shade here. I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. I'm just going to try, just because I feel like I need a bigger brush. I'm just going to try blend it in with this bigger brush that I used at the start, which is the single 
sided one. That's why it's okay. It's not blending quite as well as I'd like, but it's okay. The pigment's quite okay. Quite okay. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use this really, really small definer brush. This looks so weird. I'm gonna use this to pop on some of this um, like quite sparkly colour. I forgot what this one's called. I won't lie to you. I think it's called... Mm, what's it called? I don't know. I can't remember. On the inner corners. And I'm gonna also pop this on my brow bone as well. That is actually really pigmented. I really like that colour. Ooh, blooming hate highlighting my brow bone when I haven't put my eyebrows though. Big mistake, Leah, big mistake. That is actually such a nice colour. Can you see? I got really, really close then, but I completely forgot to buy an eyeliner, but I'm not really using eyeliner too much at the moment. So I'm going to pop some mascara on and then I'm going to put on these eyelashes. These are the, it says, exclusively designed for Primark. So Sue. Uh, glam lash collection. These looked really really nice in the shop. They were £5 which is quite pricey for Primark eyelashes. Um, I know some of them are like a pound but I thought I'd go for something a bit luxurious because why not? They don't come with any glue or anything. I'm just going to use my own for this. I'm just going to use this glue which is the Ada Lash Grip which I love and I live from it. I live from it. <laughs> I live by it so I'm just going to pop these on and I'll be back in a tick. I am literally in love with these eyelashes look at them that one's still kind of sticking but look how beautiful they're like double layered so they're super thick they are amazing for five pounds love them love them so i've just been reading this while um i've been putting them on and it's by suzanne jackson i'm not actually sure who she is i feel like i should know so i'm gonna google her after this video but last of all i'm just gonna finish with the lips i got a lip liner this was one pound fifty it's the ps instagirl kiss proof lip liner pencil it says it's waterproof as well which I mean, I don't know if I believe that it's waterproof, but we can always test it, lovely. Okay, I got this in the colour, what colour did I get it in? I got it in the colour like that. Um, I'm just going to line my lips with this, and then I'm going to use this PS Instagirl Satin Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade hashtag like that. Oh, so I got matching lip liner and lipstick, which I clearly did, but didn't realise, so. Good one, Leah. This looks like this. Oh, that looks like a nice colour. So I'll put both on and we can see what it looks like. So this is the finished look. I cannot believe that my face, apart from the odd thing like mascara and bronzer and brows, everything on my face is from Primark and it just goes to show that you don't have to spend hundreds and thousands of pounds on makeup to have a good result because I think this is a good result from Primark makeup. I think everything that I bought came to, in fact hang on I'm going to tell you, everything that I bought there came to £53.40 which I understand is a lot of money but there's pretty much a full face of makeup there and brushes. Um, overall I'd say because I always like to pick my favourite products, favourite products have to be the highlighter because I just love this highlighter so much. I will literally use this all the time and it was just £3. I quite like the lip colours so I'd have to say them as well and the lashes as well because I just think these are absolutely beautiful. I don't think the eyeshadows were too bad. I'd say if you're on a really strict budget then this is a good shout because they are nice. I mean obviously compared to your higher end ones which blend really really well and are really high pigment they're not quite as good but I mean they were 60p each so you can't really complain. Oh I also quite liked the powder as well didn't I? I'm not massive looking on the foundation or the concealer they feel nice well they feel okay once they're on but getting them on was a bit of a task with this brush which i just don't really get on with this brush i need to find something that i could use it for i'm just not sure yet maybe this would be good for highlighter maybe i can try it i can clean it and try it but yeah guys this is the finished makeup look um it's kind of like full-on glam look and um, i really really liked the shimmery eyeshadow colour here which is called, I think it's called Naked I'm not 100% sure, but yeah this has created such a nice little shine on the inner corners and on my brow bones, so I love that thank you so much for watching today's video if you like testing makeup videos hit the thumbs up button so that I know that people like them, subscribe if you haven't already and let me know if you want me to test any other brands of makeup because I'm down for getting quite a couple bits from different makeup brands or specific products you want me to try, let me know and I will of course do my best to try them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon for another video. Bye guys.